now that our cleaning agent has thoroughly been worked into the rug, the next step is to flush all the suspended soils out along with the remnant of the cleaning solution. And you'll probably already be able to see here in the early stages of this cleaning that the colors are really popping out there. The use of a hard plastic rug squeegee aids in removing water along with spent cleaning solution and most importantly soils. Notice how much dirty water that is being removed from this rug. Depending upon the soil level and the amount of foam to be rinsed away, it is usually beneficial to make several passes with the water wand and the squeegee. I'm going to flush it one more time from the back side of the rug. Make sure everything is well rinsed out of the foundation. You may also notice as Doug's handling the rug, when he moves it, he keeps it doubled up so that there's uh, no chance of tearing at a weak spot. We're going to continue to try to remove excess water. Along with that water, we're removing more soil from the foundation of the carpet. We have the compression roller that acts to compress the carpet, to weigh it down and squeeze out every bit of water and every bit of soil. In addition to forcing the water and soil out of the rug, the compression roller can also be used during the cleaning phase to make sure that our cleaning agents penetrate into thick, dense pile. The roller compresses the rug like a sponge. After the roller passes over, the rug will pull the cleaning solution deep into the pile and foundation yarns. Notice that only a little water is left in the rug after use of the compression roller and squeegee. With much of the water out of the rug, it will be easier to maneuver the rug to the drying station and less water in the rug means faster drying. 